Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a, a piston designed uh, bay. Um, so I'm going to just demonstrate one working for the moment. Okay, so you can deploy a piston bay, you can hide it within your ship, like so. So let's revert this ship back to its original design. So that I can build one so you can see it. Uh, with that unsafe changes, there we go. Okay. Uh, it's going to rebuild the ship back to its original design. Okay, so this is basically just a, a test boat. So um, I've created something very, very basic using um, design for uh, pistons. Um, I would strongly suggest creating something a bit bigger than what I'm going to create so that it actually fits into the slot properly. Um, I'm, I'm going to create something quite small just so it's easy to, easy to replicate and easy to see how it works. Uh, so I'm going to make it five wide, uh, even yeah, five wide is fine actually. Um, and I'm going to then create a base. So I'm going to create a base along the top, uh, along the bottom here, underneath. So the reason I've created this open gap is because this is where the um, feature is going to be. Uh, for example, if you were going to be putting a turret in place here, you'd probably do something similar. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave a gap and actually fill in underneath it, just to show you, oh well, you you'll see why in a moment. So the reason for this is so that we can create something that attaches to a piston. Right, so if I go to the new object section now, I'm going to get a telescopic piston. We don't need the full size one, so we're just going to go with a one meter one. And we're just going to place it in there. Uh, as long as it's placed flat, it will extend upwards. Okay, just so that we can see the difference in uh, pieces, um, rather than it being flush with the same design, I'm going to use wood instead. So let's build across wood. So just like a turret, I'm building on the, on the turret point itself, or the piston in this case. As you can see, I can't build off of it. It works exactly the same as a turret wood. I'm going to attach some two meter beams. Okay, and this would then give us the base of our turret, or our, our extendable turret, whatever you want to call it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this thing some risers around the edge so that we've kind of got uh, points that stick out. Uh, bear in mind that, you know, you could potentially just stick a, a spinner in here somewhere and you could just turn it into a spinning section too. Um, in fact, you with the uh, advent of being able to stick spins on spinners, it's the same with pistons, you can stick spins on pistons or pistons on pistons. But anyway, I'm going to finish this off so we can see what it looks like. Two, three, four, and the last one down the middle. Oh, let's just use these. There we go. Okay, so we can see that it is in there. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a complex controller. Uh, the reason behind this is uh, on, mate. let's come off of that mode. So I've just come out of turret editing mode. I'm going to load up the complex controller. Uh, the reason we use this is because wrong way around. You require uh, additional controls, and you can set up custom key mappings for this. Um, so the key mapping you can set by simply finding your piston or set of pistons, pressing Q on them, and setting O. So this is positive, and L, if we press twice, we get a negative, so that's up and down. Uh, you can, by default, say, uh, you can extend it, so you can just test it out yourself, and you can see it expands and retracts. You can lock it into position, so say I set to there, and lock it. I should now be unable to actually change it, as you can see. So if I do that, there we go. So we set O and L as our, our points. Uh, we have velocities. I've not actually changed this from one meter, uh, one meter a second before. So let's just change it to point 0.1 and just see what happens when we extend it, just to see how slow it looks. It's pretty slow, but that could be quite a good effect for some things, especially if it's quite a heavy item. And as you can see, we get up to 2. 2 is fast enough. So let's just set it back to 1 for now and 0 for there. Oh, hang on. Bring it back down fully. There we go. Okay, so let's come out of build mode and go back to my person. And I'm going to stand next to this so we can watch this. So I'm going to press O on the keyboard. And as you can see, it rises up. 
Now, one thing that hasn't been created yet is the ability to prevent it from going above a certain height. So, uh, you know, it is, it's capable of going higher than the piston could potentially go, which is why I'm saying maybe you should create the piston a lot lower in the vehicle or wherever it is you're creating it, so that it can stay hidden even if it doesn't need to be. So like a six high block instead. Uh, but you can roughly get it right. And once you've got that, uh, let's get my plate back, you can actually go and stand on it. Now, if there was a controller on here, which I can't actually put one of them on here, um, I would be able to, hang on, I've got an idea. Let's just try this. So if we put this there, like that, and go back out of build mode and go to me. Oh, well, there we go. I'm wondering whether we can, we can, we can raise a platform. So we now have the ability to potentially have a lift, a lift actually built into the game. Look, I've, laid, I've raised myself up. I can lower myself while I'm in it, although that bugs out. So I don't know if you've ever had the, uh, the jump bug where you go through the floor above, which does happen on occasion. Um, it's like you jump and it kind of gets you through the floor. Uh, that's basically all that is. So, anyway, there's a bug for them, I've just found. Uh, which is nice and hellish. Even even jumping yourself doesn't fix it. You have to go off and back on. Anyway, um, I hope this overview of a basic piston uh, hidden unit with uh, potential alternative applications such as lift will give you some good ideas as to what you can do now that patch 2.12 is out with this interesting feature. Thank you for watching.